One of my favorite things about video games is the ragdoll. Ragdoll makes everything better. There are very few games that have like animated deaths in them that I'm actually happy with. If Call of Duty had kept everything the same way that it was in like Big Red 1, Call of Duty 2, this game would be 20 times more magical. Fuck the animated death where my character just falls back dramatically. I want to shoot someone in the face with a sniper rifle and watch him do like six backflips like Halo style. I wish I could go back on my PlayStation 2 and play Call of Duty Big Red 1. Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 was completely different from Call of Duty 2 on the 360. Fucking Lieutenant Death Days. To give you a good idea of the games that I played when I was younger, all of them were related to some sort of destruction and ragdoll. Like I played Call of Duty 2, Halo, I played Burnout, which wasn't necessarily like ragdoll, but I mean technically if cars could be ragdoll, yeah. Just ridiculous fucking physics. I played Burnout 1, Burnout 2, Burnout 3. I thought that was the funnest fucking game in the world. That and I played another game named Flat Out. Basically it was a game where the objective was to, well, launch your fucking driver out of the car. The game basically sent a huge message the whole time that you should just wear your fucking seatbelt in the car. By the way, I literally, like, I wore my seatbelt all the time. I always wear my seatbelt no matter what. That's because I've been in accidents. If you've been in accidents before and you still don't put your seatbelt on, I truly, truly hope you're okay. There are some freak accidents, though, where seatbelts do technically end up getting people killed, but more often than not, I think I'll just take my chances. I would have mini games where you just launch your character like a fucking dart into a giant dart board. I played that shit so much every single attempt that I did. I had the perfect angle, speed, the exact timing, everything to launch my driver out of the seat to hit right dead fucking center of the board. And then other times, I wouldn't even play the mini game i'll just try to launch my driver as far as i possibly could out of my car make him land on his head break his legs fall through the ground and shit like the only reason i ever played any of the skate games was to do the hall of meat thing to break all of my character's bones i don't know what the fuck is wrong with me i just think that ragdoll is the funniest shit on the planet like when in life are you going to see a dude with his leg up behind his head with his arm wrapped around his chest four times with his foot up his ass and his dick in his mouth nowhere except the video game and that's what i want that's what i want to see i don't want to see actual people get hurt but it's sure fucking funny to watch little virtual people. Maybe I'm just a psychopath. Let me know down in the comment section if you were one of those types of people. I still think Ragdoll is one of the best, best things that could ever be in a video game. Fuck animated deaths. I just want people to do six backflips when they die. I just want all of their bones to be made out of fucking jello. One of the big reasons people like to watch knockouts in the UFC and shit is to watch people fold up. Their fucking legs just fall out from underneath of them. Same thing with boxing and other contact sports. People like to see people's ankles get broken. Basketball, football, all sorts of sports. I'll say this though. I mean, if you have ever broken a bone i'm pretty sure you would never want to wish it on anybody else because it really fucking sucks hopefully i never break anything else in my life ever i live pretty safely unless for some odd reason someone crashes their fucking car right into my window then i'll be dead lag let me look up and see if there's any more like flat out flat out game flat out 2 came out in 2006 flat out 3 oh shit there was a flat out 3 in 2011 there's no flat out 4 Look at this little pussy bitch! Lag. Honestly though, thinking back on it, I really hope it's not one of those games where I thought it was the best fucking game in the world and then you come back and play it and it's really shitty. That always happens, man. It was always cool when you were a kid and then you play it again and it's just... So, I would say that I would love another flat out, but I'm afraid that it would just be so stupid. If you could have any game, any game whatsoever, whether it be fucking Pokemon, Call of Duty, My Little Pony, anything, I don't care. What game would it be? What game would you have remade if you could? Flat out's my vote. I'll be the best self-crashing suicide master thing. Wow, that game's actually really fucked up. 